Series 28 is the current update for Horizon 5, which is released in December. Now, we actually already know the update for January is the community update. Playground games tend to release the December and January update in the same time, so the devs get chance to rest over Christmas. Now, because of that, I have all of the Series 29 information for you right in this video. There are eight new cars and a load of other things as well. We're going to talk about the latest leaks uh, in this video as well. Also, before we get to that real quick, here are the four winners of the most recent car pack giveaway. I've messaged them all. If they don't answer, I'll pick someone else. So make sure to keep commenting your gamertag. Make sure you subscribe and you'll always be in a chance of winning codes at any random point. So let's start off with the festival playlist. Now I will remind you this is series 29 that starts in about three and a half weeks in January. So for the full series for 80 points we've got the Nissan GTR from 2020 and for 160 points the Porsche 911 GT3 2021. Now the first week which is summer for 20 points you can get the first new car the McLaren 12C and for 40 points the Aston Martin DBS. Now it's worth noting the eight new cars in this update are spread out across two new cars per week. The Forza Von Shop for the first week has the Aston Martin DBR1, Nissan Rally Raid, Class running man emote and doodle pattern utility trousers here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week autumn which is the second week for 20 points we can get the koenigsegg ccs and for 40 points the lycan hypersport those are the other two new cars Forza on Shop has the Jaguar C-Type, the Porsche Racing 911 Desert Flyer, the Cat Meow and the Toyota Race Suit Outfit. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. Third week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the Pugani Huayra and for 40 points, the Mercedes-Benz 280SL. Those are the other two new cars. We're up to six in total now. The Forza Von Shop has the Porsche 906 66 1966. That's a lot of sixes. The Shelby GT350R, the Ring Ring Amount, and a tank top that I can't pronounce. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. Now the fourth and final week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the seventh new car, the GTA Spano, and for 40 points, the Fiat Dino. The Forza Von Shop has the Ferrari 512, the Ultima Evo Coupe, the Duck Quack Horn, and a Navy Hoodie. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. So that's the festival playlist for series 29. Now, as I said, this was the community update. Now you may notice that some of the other rewards such as the GTR for the full series and some of the other cars for the other championships. Those are all things that we voted for back when we got the survey back in September. If you remember, I did a video encouraging everybody to fill out the survey that they gave us for this upcoming update. And obviously this is the one that has been formed from the survey results. Now, if we have a look at the full change log, we can see other things that are happening within series 29 as well and everything that the community voted for. Now the community chose all of the types of activities and rewards that are in the festival playlist that we just covered. Now the neon decorations in open world and races are also returning. Again this was something that came out of the survey that's what we voted for the most so the evolving world neon decorations are returning. Now the neon drone show and neon H cube collectible are also returning as well. It's quite interesting to see that the three things that won are all neon related. It kind of shows what as Forza Horizon players kind of like the most. So that is all coming in Series 29 as well. Four community-made liveries featured in Festival Playlist Photo Challenge tiles. You may have spotted them. Those are the four there. Go back and have a look at the playlist images if you want to see them. There's two community design badges. Now this one is interesting. Part of the survey was the ability to create your own badge and actually apply for it to be an edition of the game. And it seems like Soup McPasta, <laughs> what a name, had his two designed badges added to the game. Now, I can't find what they actually are. If I manage to find them while I'm editing this video, I will pop the badges on screen. 
we have some new badges for uh, mm. this season series. Um, so we put out a competition onto the forums to design two new badges for community choice. And Soup McPasta on the forums designed these lovely, like, creative style badges. So we got a blueprint one and an artist palette one, which I think really speaks to, like, the creative side of the community. And also we have a badge for owning 800 unique cars. So <laughs> the dinosaur is out, the orange cat is in. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, there are 16 returning evolving world PR stunts, again, that we voted for. Now, we've got the eight new cars that we've already spoken about, but we actually have 10 other new cars being added to the auto show. Now these 10 cars here are all previous exclusive rare cars that have now been added to the auto show as per January the 30th, so it's a little bit of a way away. So if you haven't got any of these 10 cars, don't buy them from the auction house because you're wasting money. Wait until they're in the auto show in about in January. It's a bit of a wait, but you're going to be able to get them through the auto show now. Again, these are the 10 exclusive cars that us as a community voted for in the survey. There's some other things in the changelog that you might want to know about. We have the full list of bugs and fixes. Now, this was from the Series 28 update, but as I said, it's all combined. So these are the latest bugs and fixes that have been sorted. Now, from this same update, there's been something else spotted in the files. You know we like to cover leaks like that. TGR55, for the main man, has spotted this Sard logo that's been added to the files. Nothing special. They are a tuning company that makes tuning parts and body kits. Uh, just an example of one of the body kits here for the Toyota Supra. Kind of cool. Again, we just like to follow all the little things that appear in the file, so maybe we'll receive some Sard, if that's how it's pronounced, body kits in the future. You'll never know. It's a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. Now, what else do we have? Well, they also, in the, the most recent live stream, they announced the Golden Tank Award nominees. Now, they're holding a Golden Tank Awards. Now, the Golden Tank Awards is where they are awarding the most creative event and such and such. So, we'll, we'll quickly scroll through all the nominees now. We've got Best Prefab, talking about the prefab uh, feature that they added a few months ago. Best Photo Location, Best Race Event, Best Event Lab Island Event, which also they added a few months ago. Most Creative Event, and then the Event Lab Creation of the Year, which is kind of the holy grail, I suppose you could say. There are some honorable mentions as well. So if you spot your name there, well done. The next update is Lunar New Year, I think. Yes, Lunar New Year. It's going to have new cars, a new collectible, a stadium drift arena, which is quite interesting, and Dragon Drone Show. Now, we'll touch more on this come to January because this is a long way away. But yeah, leave a like if you've enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.